Hello, my name is Renata Rogers. Today is July 26, 2017. This is for Technology for Coaches and Physical Educators 604, and my topic is the Fitness Meter application. Fitness Meter is an advanced timing and measurement tool useful for various forms of fitness testing. When the subject of measurement has no one available to lend assistance, Fitness Meter employs motion detection technology to supply results that are more accurate than a stopwatch through use of the device's built-in camera. The, the app uses versatile and configurable tools for both coaches and individuals. The app is capable of providing results for more than 20 standard tests and exercises using the device's camera and accelerometer. However, the app is only available for iPhone and iPad users. Below is a picture of an icon of the app. Coaches can use this app to evaluate multiple athletes and individuals monitoring their own performances. Coaches can have athletes use it on their own and report results back to them using the Send Test Results feature. It can also be used during fitness gram testing, for example, the Pacer Run. It can be applied to a variety of different tests in order to measure speed, agility, jumping, altitude, and overall physical condition. The Fitness Meter app can be purchased in the Apple App Store by searching Fitness Meter in the search bar for $1.99. For this app, there is no additional sign-up process required. After purchasing the app from the App Store, you simply select one of the five categories pre-programmed into the app, then align the device, which will then signal the start of the test and save the results. When the flying sprint mode is selected, the app simulates two timing gates and measures the time between two points. It can be used for either measuring top speed or acceleration. Users set the running direction and setup, and then place the iPhone parallel to the track with one red line at the start of the timing zone and one at the finish. This requires the iPhone to be about the same direction away from the track as the running distance, and therefore works best for 10, works best for 10 meters to 20 meter sprints. In the sprint and shuttle mode, the app acts like a timing gate plus a starting gun. It has a number of settings that make it possible to use for both conventional sprints and different agility tests. Users set the number of passes before stopping the clock and if the timer should start at the gun or when the runner starts moving. An example test is the agility t-test or a three-cone drill. The fitness meter app records a short video that allows you to easily measure the height of a jump. If you are evaluating your own performance, simply place your iPhone in your pocket and use the accelerometer tool instead. In repetition mode, users can measure time and reps of exercises such as sit-ups, push-ups, step-ups, chin-ups, rope skipping, and etc. Fitness meter can be set to stop after a certain time or a certain number of repetitions. The beep test is a configurable test that saves an image after each lap, which makes it easy to track results even for a large group of runners. Users tap config and edit to change the number of shuttles and speed for each level. The guide option, which is listed below the five categories of workouts, provides users with additional information about the app. Users can see any detailed information about each category, view a video detailing the app. They may also choose to send their test results, choose a name that they would like to save their results under, contact the app developer with questions and feedback. Users may also choose to review, to review the app in the App Store. And lastly, there are links provided to upload to other applications similar to the Fitness Meter app that was created by the same developer. Below are the two sources that I used to find all of my information about the Fitness Meter application and I took all of my images from the app itself.